Today we're opening a $30 Yu-Gi-Oh! 10 versus a $300 Yu-Gi-Oh! 10. What's up guys? We're back with another versus video where we have the two old versus new $30 versus $300 10. I think this is going to be fun to see like what happens because these $300 tins tend to have not great value when they open them unless you get like the promo graded and stuff like that. So without grading anything, we're going to see how the values stack up. So let's start off with a $30 mega tin from 2018. See how it compares. All right, let's do this. I have not opened this tin in a very long time, but this is a tin that came out when I was like pretty much getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh. Like I'd been into it for a couple months, then this tin dropped. So this is kind of nostalgic. I didn't really care about a lot of the cards in here, but uh, I guess we'll see if there's anything I missed out on. It looks like Solid Soldier is in here, which is pretty cool. That's a nice elemental hero card I've used before. So is that everything? Wow, that's a lot of room for not much in the tin. Like, just compare the sizes of these tins. And, like, they only put that in there. So why is this tin so big? Let's not, uh, you know, waste so much room on that stuff. Let's go into here and let's see what we can get from these promos. We have Nebula, Neos. What else is there? I think Pot of Desires came in 2017. So it was the year before this when you could actually get some crazy. Nebula, Neos. That's cool. We got the Solid Soldier. That's a nice card. Keeper of Dragon Magic Classic and the Mud Dragon. Oh, there's another one. Oh, the Swamp. Arcana Extra Joker. That's a very useful card. Not. Okay, and we only get three Mega Packs. 2018 Mega Packs. Let's see what we can pull. I mean, I think you get still a Super Secret Ultra every single pack. We're about to find out if that's true. Let's do it like this. Okay. Smile Universe. We got the Ojama Duo. That's an annoying card for sure. Very annoying. We got the Demise King of Armageddon. Very nice. Secure... The Secure Guard. I was looking for this. This is actually a card I'm going to set to the side just because it's a nice Link 1 for a lot of decks. Zombino, a 2K 4-star normal monster. Interesting. You guys know I love those. World Legacy Pawns. Set Rotation. Trickstar Licorice. Okay. Licorice. Licorice. Oh, a Mythical Beast Master Service. I think this is actually a pretty good card. At the time, it was really good, I believe. But uh, I think it may have gotten hit or like the whole deck's not good anymore or something. So, Goki Thunder Ogre, I've seen that many a time. Ah, the Amana Iwato. That's a funny card. Uh, Samurai Skull is actually a pretty nice card. It was very annoying Duel Links because you just like remove it from the field and it always gets its effect. What does this actually do? <laughs> yeah, it has that specific text that says, if this face-up card in the owner's control leaves the field, which is actually really strong a lot of the time. Similar to Absolute Zero, you, you can't just destroy it or like remove it from play or anything. Like if you do any of that, it's going to activate its effect, which is pretty nice nice if you control the samurai skull if you don't it's very annoying all right we got a break away or call him switch we got the jane twilight sworn general jack wyvern the go 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 aristera dexia that is a lot we got the abyssinary the bit trooper the showdown of the secret sin scroll techniques that is a a mouthful. I was going to say a long mouthful. That does not even make sense lila twilight sworn enchantress we pull this every time we open stuff from 2018 it feels like Ooh, a Rescue Fair. This is a cool-looking card. I don't think it ever compared to its counterpart, the Rescue Rabbit, but it's still pretty nice. World Chalice Guard Dragon, another one that is it's just always in these packs. We got a Shell Rocket Dragon, Alter Geists. Mild Turkey, just in time for those Thanksgiving meals in six months. Make that eight months. I'm not, I'm not even close. Okay. Yeah, we're farther away than we are close. Let's go. Let's see what we can get in this final pack. So we've gotten Master Service, which is pretty good. Let's see if we can get anything else. Because that Vorce Raider 10 might just have an easy win here. Cybers Beacon. Legacy Heart. We got the Link Restart. Self-Destruct Ant. Gravity Lash. Not a terrible quick play spell. You know, changing the attacks and stuff. Zombina. Cool card as well. The Pendulumucho. All right. And, and these guys remind me of the guys off the regular show. If you've seen the episode where they're like hiding in the Chuck E. Cheese. It's not really Chuck E. Cheese, but it's the regular show version of Chuck E. Cheese. So I don't know. Y'all better put your guns down now. Zero percent of you understood that, but it, it was weird. Pendulum Paradox. Okay. That's a nice card. I don't think it's actually that good, but, but it's a secret rare. <laughs> Alter Guys Prime Banshee. All right. That's cool. Backup Squad and Pulse Mines. Decent in Duel Links for a little bit, but not too great on that tin. All right, $30 tin down. It's time for $300 tin. The Vorse Raider. Before we crack into this and ruin all the value, let's check it out what we're going to get. Dark Beginning, Dark Revelation, Soul of the Duels, Rise of Destiny, and Flaming Eternity inside. We're going to get this Vorse Raider promo itself. Collect one in six exclusive cards. That's the Vorse Raider. There's six different ones. We've opened all of these on the channel. Once we open every single one from 2005 in the same video, we also do 2004, 2003, 2008, all that stuff. So you can go check out that playlist of the opening every if you guys want to see that. And we just officially ruined the value. There it is. Wait, I... 
Did that? Okay, that almost didn't cut it somehow. That was crazy. All right, that was some pretty tough wrap that did not want to be opened. Let's see what our promo is looking like. They did upgrade to these little plastic things to make it a little bit harder for it to be damaged right out of the tin, which is great. Even 18 years later, now 17 years later. There we go, Vorce Raider. This is a nostalgic card for me. This card's in near mint condition. I remember getting this being like, this card's awesome. 1900 summon it attack, you know. Still the same way I am now. All right, that's a good start. That probably almost caught us up to the other tin just with that promo so all we have to do is pull something then we have some Yu-Gi-Oh! gx the official guide to the next generation whoa it's a new generation whoa what is that card that looks awesome mom can i buy it yeah then there's more of that stuff <laughs> then we have five packs that don't need to pull much to win this but also to make our money back we need to pull a lot okay let us start with i think rise of destiny this is the one we've opened the most of i think so let's save the others for the end we've pulled, opened a lot of all these sets at some point not a lot but more than a lot of people i would say you know in the recently Let's see if we can pull something cool out of Rise of Destiny. Of course, the Dekoichi would be epic. Ultimate rares are what we're looking for. Ballista of Rampart Smashing. The Pitch Black War Wolf. He's Pitch Black. We've got the Fruits of Kazaki Studies. Okay, wait a second. There's no fruit in this picture. Harpy Lady 1. we got a Harpy's Hunting Ground. Harpy Girl. All right, the uncensored version. you got to avert your eyes. Homunculus the Alchemic Being. Mayan Haxorks and... That's an ultimate rare. Whoa, okay, I thought that was a regular rare. And I was like, wait a second, that looks funny. Serial spell, ultimate rare. This is not like an incredible one, but it is an ultimate rare. I think that we might have just won the battle. Serial spell, ultimate rare. That's pretty awesome. One pack in and we've already won. Is that is that the case? I'm not totally sure. I might have missed something that was worth some money in the other one. I don't think serial spell is worth a ton of money. I bet it's like a 3 or $4 ultimate rare. But that with the promo, plus the fact that it's just an ultimate rare, it's giving it an edge right now. Let's see what we can pull out of Soul of the Duelist. Out of here, we'd love a Horus, like, level 4 ulti, because that's a retail ulti. That'd be awesome. Ultimate Baseball Kid. Absolute end. We got the Neo Aquamador, which got a retrain in Dot of Majesty, which is very weird. Uh, we got the Mass Dragon. That's a pretty cool card, you know, for the dragons. Nobleman Eater Bug. Yeah, the retrain of Man Eater Bug. Cemetery Bomb. I always thought this card was cool. I was like, how do you use this thing? And then I was like, okay, it's not good. Arm Dragon level 3. Man, this and Mass Dragon I've seen too much of in auction series. Skull Dog Marin, poor guy, poor guy, and finally. Arm Dragon level 7! <laughs> Whoa! Alright, this is the tin to open. I've had this tin sitting behind me for a long time, and I was like, this could be a perfect 30 versus $300 challenge video, and I was like, okay, we'll open it. Seems like that was a pretty nice tin with a near mint promo, an ultimate rare, an ultra rare arm dragon level seven. Whoa, that is pretty awesome. Oh, by the way, we have three packs left, and don't worry though, this is still a close battle. We definitely have not won yet with a three hundred dollar tin. I said we need to pull good to get our money back. We still are not even close, but if we keep it up at this rate, maybe we actually will. Okay, let's see. What is this? Flaming Eternity? We could get Rescue Cat, which is a big common. I want to get the Fla the Phoenix, the Sacred Phoenix. That would be insane. What, what are some cool other ones? I don't know. Maybe we'll just pull it. No, I'll see it. Golem Sentry. Element Doom. The big march of animals. And there's the... Uh, that guy's in here. The uh, the big pink guy. What's his name? I just sold him. Behemoth King of All Animals. That's an ultimate rare in here. But it has to be a uh, hobby. Kangaroo Champ. Whirlwind of Baratigy. Element Burst. Armed Samurai Benkai. This guy had an entire deck based around him, which is funny. Fulfillment of the Contract. And finally... Deck Devastation Virus. So we now have a super rare, an ultra rare, and an ultimate rare out of this tin. This is an unreal tin. That is actually a pretty decent card. Next up, let's leave Dark Beginning for the end. Dark Revelation. If we pull like Exodia Necros out of here, it's just meant to be. It's just meant to be at this point. This is one of the best old 2005 tins because the packs aren't particularly amazing in this, in this uh, tin. But we're pulling all the good stuff. So it seems like, okay, these are weird. I'm not going to do a pack trick on these. Because it could be right out. Actually, it could be right after this one. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Maju guards that because I think they put it at the front. So like monster spell traps the way they do it. They put it at the front of monster if it's a monster hollow. And then spell if it's a spell hollow. They put it at the front of those. And then if it's a trap, same thing. So let's see if that's the case. Aitsu. An owl of luck. Cliff the trap remover. This is actually a pretty good card in goat for a lot of things. So I'm going to pull that aside. That's actually, I don't know if it's worth much, but it's used in something. Skill Drain right after the reprint, so it's probably down a little bit, but that is still a big pull because Skill Drain, all versions are pretty expensive at this point. 
I don't know if you can also get a foil, but that's probably more than every foil. <laughs> Skill drain rare. That's insane. Really eternal rest. See, it's at the front of the traps. Uh, trice. Oh, metamorphosis! <laughs> This is an insane tin. A contract with Exodia and Union Rider. We didn't get a foil that time. First time without a foil, but we got probably the most expensive common out of the entire set and then the most expensive rare. And then a good common. Another good one. So I don't even know what to say at this point. Yeah, it's anybody's game. Anyone could win this battle. <laughs> totally. The, the, the new tin definitely has a chance. We're on to Dark Beginning 1. This is like one of the best 2005 tins. Probably the best 2005 tin I've ever opened. Let's see if we can continue the trend. We're going to do the same pack trick as last time. I don't know if it worked like that with DB1. I don't think it did, actually. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work. Amphibian Beast. Let's see if we can pull that Blue Eyes White Dragon. That would be pretty awesome. Red Moon Baby. We got the UFO Turtle. Masaki. It could be right after this card, to be honest. I'm not sure. Oh, and a Hayabusa Knight. That seems like it is the last card. Tornado Wall. Did we finally hit a dud pack? Chain Destruction. Skull Invitation. Hino Tama. 500 directly to the face. Uh, ground Collapse, okay. Monster Recovery. Tip Card, Searching Effects, and Bombardment Beetle. We finally hit a dud pack. I have one of the best tins I've ever opened from 2005. If you guys enjoyed this versus video, make sure to subscribe for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Anana Tai Show, JT Cho, and Anima Halo. Anima the Halo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.